yearly resolution type of thing and then fall off the cliff. 1% better every day. You could have a hundred problems, but until you have a health problem, you really only have one true problem. Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and I wanted to start off of the new year with a brand new Chanel haul. A lot of you saw me wear on my Instagram some of the pieces and had so many questions. Of course I'm styling everything to show you guys in this video. It's not the classic Chanel jacket which I've been dreaming of still. It's one of those things that will either happen or not happen. But anyway this is a pretty good jacket nevertheless. There's three large round buttons in the front and then uh, there's also a bunch of them on the sleeves and as you can see this is a waffle knit so it's just a cotton waffle knit but it's very substantial and the cutting is quite slimming. It has this sort of like double panel so the front here kind of has this cutout um, piece that is part of the front design and then the lapel also um, is its own sort of curve. On the back side, we also have this slit detail. With all Chanel jackets, you get the chain detail on the bottom. And of course, the lining is all in silk with a beautiful Chanel classic pattern on it. Can you see? It has the camellia pattern. I don't know if you can see with this lighting. Here is the label. Not that you can get this exact jacket, but this jacket is from an older collection. So this one, I did get it in the size 38. And as you all know, in Chanel Ready to Wear, their sizing is all over the place. You could be a 34, generally speaking, in French sizing, but like in Chanel, <laughs> you could be anywhere between a 34 to a 40. It's very, very possible, especially if you get the older, Carl era ready to wear. The Carl's designs are usually a lot more tight fitting. This jacket I found out later that it is from the 2014 spring pre-spring collection. There you have it. This is the cute little jacket. As you can see size 38 fits me just perfectly on the shoulders. Carl era's jackets are typically a lot more narrow. So you could tell that it's definitely not from a current collection because jackets these days are typically a little bit more oversized, they're a little bit more boxy, and it's just the style that it is now. But this is definitely more of that form fitting uh, and super cute tailoring. And especially because I was able to find this pre-loved at a much better price. This was definitely a very lucky find. Part of my goal in 2024 is not to only be more strict with my luxury mindset. Aside from that, I also wanted to improve my health in general. They say that you could have a hundred problems, but until you have a health problem, you really only have one true problem. And that is unfortunately something that I deal with every day. It's been almost two decades that I've been dealing with this lupus illness. I wake up with chronic pain and stiffness every single day and I have to manage my very short window of energy every day. Chronic fatigue, it's just not, it's not fun. There's many things that I've done well in terms of like my diet, but there's still more that I want to improve. And one of the ways I want to improve is to move more. I've made a promise to myself this year that I want to try to exercise more. And for me, exercise is not like intense exercise, but I don't always move because my joint issues doesn't always allow me to. Anyway, I figured out one way to self-motivate is that I'm gonna at least do the first step, which is to put on that cute exercise outfit. I've tried it for a month now after Christmas, you know, after all the gluttony. And every time I did put my outfit on, I end up doing something. So I'm really proud of myself. It's from this company, Fanka. They are a fabricology oriented apparel company that specializes in sportswear. Anyway, all you need to know is that they make cute sportswear. They use 3D technology and 3D printing to create lines and patterns on the fabric, which supports all your essential muscle groups, such as your knees, your legs, your hips, and your tummy. I feel like their whole Beyond Nude line is probably gonna become my favorite. Their fabric on this line, the Beyond Nude, is like what the name says. It just feels like nothing. The fabric is so lightweight, it's so soft, 
Uh, it just feels like it's your second skin. Very stretchy as well. It has four-way stretch. These are just so, so comfortable. They're high-waisted. Super cute packaging too. They come in these Ziploc bags. This is also another one that I really like. I chose this one because I thought that these look like regular pants also because they are the flare design with a slip detail. It also has two back pockets. This one also has some tummy control. So this one is definitely a little bit tighter fit than the Beyond Nude line. The Beyond Nude is literally like if you had a huge dinner and you wanted to go exercise, you can still put it on and you won't feel like it's tugging at your tummy which is a good thing if your goal is to track how well you're doing. I don't have a weight problem, but ultimately my goal is to move more so that I feel better. Over time, I feel like it would make my body stronger and I'll just do whatever I can. This one I chose not only because of the compression, but I also chose it because of the fleece lining. For me, the compression helps me figure out my progress. I have been blessed to not have to exercise to maintain a slim figure but at the same time I don't have a lot of muscles and just because I hide it well but I actually have a bit of tummy fat this would be a good way for me to track my progress because it will just motivate me to fit in these better over time. Due to its high compression I definitely recommend that you size up. What's super cool about this one is that it's reversible so you could wear it from the outside or from the inside layer it just gives you a different look from this side of the fabric it just looks like a faux leather fabric and due to its high compression I definitely recommend that you size up so in here I am wearing a size medium so this is their lift and curve exercise bra built-in bra cups which are removable, some compression built in. You can also apply the code 15AMY at checkout to save 15% off with the piece that I wore the most often, which a lot of you didn't know that was from Chanel because there's not many logos on this piece here. It only has a little bit of a CC logo on the button, which is not even that visible. It's also on the little rivets, which are also very, very tiny. So unless you knew about these jeans you wouldn't know that it came from chanel because of the light wash it will be good for all year round so obviously you could wear it during the winter with more of a winter white or a black turtleneck this kind of denim is not super thick and heavy it is from a spring summer collection and we'll get into which collection i got it from wide front pocket that you could put your hands in. I like the visible seam. It has belt loops, pleating detail here in the front, two back pockets with some rivets, like I said, some silver button rivets. And the fabric is throughout with this sort of vertical pattern, which has a bit of yellow and a bit of blue. The bottom is just super, super wide, as you can see. Here is the style code. Just notice the little CC on the little zipper pull, which is super cute. So how did I get this pair of jeans? Because it's definitely not from the current season. The current season, as well as the previous few seasons, there were many denim pieces that had a lot of CC logos and some are plain as well. And I couldn't get my hands on any of those because they always sell out in my sizes. Oh, by the way, I did get this one in a size 38. It has just enough of a loose fit that I really like. I don't need to do anything to hem it or to make it smaller because I feel like they are already oversized anyway in design. So the fact that they're a little bit looser can sometimes sit a bit lower on my waist. And I found these pre-love, guys. I know, unbelievable, right? Because they look literally brand new and they were actually not from a very old season you guys probably remember the spring summer 2018 collection where they had the pvc chanel flaps that were kind of popular actually they were really really popular at the time even though a lot of us didn't buy it because it's still just pvc but it was just so controversial that collection uh, a lot of people also did not love the collection at first but over time and now we look back at one of Carl's collection it's just so brilliant and so colorful and rainbow <laughs> rainbow feel so this is from that collection kind of has that waterfall vibe even because of the lines and um, the light color is very spring 
But denim is just great for all year round wear anyway. And like I said earlier, this styles incredibly easily even though you wouldn't think so as long as you're wearing some sort of tighter fit top and especially with jeans they're so hard to come by but not only that chanel jeans resell for an incredible markup denim in chanel retail is actually quite reasonable compared to everything else that they sell but in the resale market they're so 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 expensive so i'm so so glad that i was able to get this uh, pretty much in very very excellent condition i did wash it and i will link to the video how i wash all of my ready to wear by myself i'll disclaim again even right here that of course you do it at your own risk because at the end of the day all of these things should be dry cleaned but i have no issues washing my own garments by myself in my washing machine i love that the denim jeans are from a relatively recent collection and also the fact that they're just very very timeless that is one of the main goals that I have for this year. As you may or may not know if you've seen the Luxury Live show, which is resumed now. I did say that for clothes, I'm not only going to concentrate on the basics, so on the clothes that will easily mix and match with everything else that I own already, but I'm also going to not really buy them until I need them. My weakness has always been to buy things that I don't need right away because I'm always thinking that, oh, there might be this occasion where I need this and it always becomes a justification and it's a very bad habit. That's definitely something that I want to improve even more this year, even though I've done so well last year already. So anyway, when I did this haul, there is definitely at least one piece where, you know, I didn't have this goal yet and I kind of didn't have to buy it I will say like I could have just left it there and not buy it it's a very nice piece and I will wear it but uh, it's just one of those things where I'm really really trying really hard to get better okay let's move on to the last piece did I really need an extra cardigan not really I mean I have a lot of cardigans technically I have a lot of jackets too but uh, this jacket is just so special that I I don't know I <laughs> I I just like this jacket a lot. This cardigan, on the other hand, I I didn't really need it, but I still got it anyway. The buttons are super, super classic, super cute. Um, this cardigan is 100% cashmere. It's quite thick. It has more of a three-quarter sleeve. Not only is it a bit oversized on me because I did get size 42, but at the time I tried it on and I really liked the color. It's just so vibrant i wouldn't say that it's a bad purchase by any means it's still a very very cute piece also the most expensive piece believe it or not actually everything else was cheaper this one was actually a little bit more expensive for some reason uh, maybe because it's newer it doesn't look like it was worn at all it doesn't have any pilling or anything so i just thought oh well normally cardigans at chanel can cost anywhere between five thousand to seven thousand dollars and these had really really classic buttons so i just thought to myself i would get it that's what i meant by trying to avoid these kinds of purchases because although it was too late for the cardigan i had already bought it and i did buy it before i made my revised goals um but that's sort of an example of what I meant by, you know, sometimes I just get ahead of myself. I'm not necessarily slowing down the luxury journey or the luxury shopping. I feel like I'm just trying to be more smart about it and not let the emotions dictate my actions because I think this is what has been the case in the past years where i get just so excited so how did i end up getting all of these clothes pre-loved and for such a good price i posted a video a few months ago mentioning that i was gonna do a closet clean out so i ended up consigning one chanel jacket one balmain jacket and nine self-portrait tops and dresses then i paid out of pocket another 600 so dollars to get these three pieces and i feel like 2024 is a year where i am gonna be a lot more conscious about every purchase decisions i can still have these emotions of excitement and like fomo and all of that 
but at the end of the day is how I act upon them. That's just human nature to have emotions, but what the results are will be dependent on what your actions are. Like I said, 1% better every day leads to many many percent better over time. I really hope that this is not just my like oh super motivated beginning of the year yearly resolution type of thing and then fall off the cliff. I really hope that that's not the case. This year I'll try to do more thought-provoking discussions along with the luxury aspect of course because that's ultimately one of my passions. Please share with me also what are some of your new year's resolution or new year's reset goals this year. Hopefully you had a great start of the year and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!